You know, these breaks are really necessary. Yeah, I don't think I can handle teaching them for like for more than what's 15 minutes or so, or an hour. You know, uh, well, that that entirely depends on how much alcohol you still have in store. That's true. Just let, don't let them know. Uh, Speaking yeah, of no. which, it should be almost time, so let's take our seats and we should have a few minutes. I guess there's the first one. Alright, I will be right back. I'm just going to pick up Comery. I will cut the loading screen out. Let's see, where's that child? Not outside. How do you do as you are, child? I mean, I'm literally here. Oh. Uh, she should probably be in the lobby, according to my link show. It's really good that I gave that to my family, otherwise I would miss them the entire time. Speaking of which, I could have just called her, damn it. Oh, there you are. Well, cool. let's go to class. Right, I'm back. There we go. All right, class. Welcome back uh, to our new classes today. And we'll continue with where we left off earlier today. The 12. And I will be starting now that we went over the constellations. And surprisingly, the first one is Halone. Or the Fury, mover of ice and glaciers, commanding the elements of ice and the armies in, at the same time. She is the goddess of war and is tied to the first astral moon. Or the first month as we know it. She is depict, depicted as a relentless warrior, holding a bronze mighty great shield and her symbol is three spears, which I assume she can use at the same time, knowing her skill. Halon is the patron of the Holy See of Iskart and is bitter rivals with Novika. They really do not like each other. And speaking of this, we'll be going over a nice infographic later after we discussed all of the gods. So for now, the Mark of Halone is located at the Fury's Gaze in Cortes Central Highlands. We'll be doing a field trip somewhere later where we will be going to all the accessible locations that I am aware of. Prior to the Calamity, it could be found in a place by the same name in the Twin Pools area of Cortes. Halone Garbera is a flowering plant said to be beloved of the goddess. It's a famous uh, botanist. Um, well, plan to grow there. And I suppose Kane can go over the next one. Our next god is, is Men Menfina, also known as the, the Lover. She's she's the keeper. She was once the keeper of the twin moons, but ever since the fall of the other moon, there's, a, there's only one moon, moon left. She also has a role as the goddess of love and commands the element of ice. And, she's a, and she is associated with the first Amru moon or our second one. She is usually depicted as a as a maid with a round skillet, and her symbol is the is the full greater moon. Her, her mark is um, located near the steel vigil in the court of Central Highlands. And before the calamity well remodeled everything, it's gonna be found at at Square 1 in, in the 
towards this area as well. You forgot something, that she is the younger sister of Azaima, and she okay. is a divine lover of Ocean. Thank you for that. Also, one last thing. She's also usually she is also usually worshipped by the keeper of the moon, the moon subtype of the Mikote. And well, I suppose we can go over another thing later when we go deeper into these gods. So we'll leave that out for now, as it's rather important to what happened so long ago. So for now we shall go over Taliak, and he is the scholar, ruler of rivers and wisdom of God and the God of knowledge. He commands the water and is tied to the second astral moon or the third month, depicted as a rather reserved scholar with an ashen staff and his symbol of the scroll. Taliak was the teacher of fire gods and became the father of Lemlane. He is also a patron of the Shardians, of which I learned the uh, Astrologian. Uh, it's such a gross name, I rather prefer to call it the Oracle. The uh, Methods. Oh, that's also how I knew the constellations. The Mark of Taliuk is located at the Rotfrost in Mordona, prior to the Calamity, or well, one of the several. But the most recent one, it could be found on a crystal pillar at the crypt of Sanders, northwest of Camp Brittle Park in Mordona. The minor action, known as Taliak's Ward, increases the drop rate of water shards, water crystals, or water clusters while gathering. It's really strangely tied to only the miners. Now then, the names of the Taliak River. Or the Taliak Kama and Taliak Stone and Scholar Scope and all allude to Taliak, of course. Our famous wizard or well scholar named as Lusoi had a staff of him. It bears the mark of it as well. On to the next teacher. We have uh, as the next goddess we have Nymea, the, the spinner. She's the one they are the watcher of the celestial bodies and the the goddess of fate. They're, they command they command the element of water and they and they're associated with the second umbral moon or the, or the fourth month as you should by now know. She should, a usual depiction is as a wiener with a white silken veil. This it also ties to her symbol, a spinning wheel. She and she's the elder sister of Althik and the master of Rogar. The mark is located uh, south of the more dry docks. The Lanolski area, which you should be very familiar with at this point, before our, our most recent calamity, you found at the at the Morby Bay. Well, then she's also Nymeria's Nymeria's ward is also a trait common in the bothness and the miners. Yeah, we um, follow her greatly. It's how I managed to gather a lot of crystals. I do not believe in her fate but i know she exists and by accepting that knowledge i gain my crystals a lot faster which helps us decorate these rooms she was also very very briefly the major deity of, of alamigo during the reign of a specific king but it only lasted five years before the city states fell we shall be going over that at a later date it's, this is something you should know. At the bouquet, bouquets of Nymea, they're used as an, uh, as an offering for the dead. Which, at this point, you should both be very, very familiar with. Indeed. Now we'll go over Limlane, the navigator, a watcher of the seas, a true sailor never been before her, and a goddess of navigation. Commanding the elements of wind and is tied to the third astral moon, as we know that as the fifth month, of course. She is depicted as a strong fisherwoman, holding a long bladed harpoon, and her symbol is the wave on which she soars to seek adventure. 
and then she has a daughter with Talia uh, oh no pardon me I misunderstood that part in my younger days she's actually the daughter of Teriak and the elder sister of Novika oh god what I just said could have severe implications if that had been the truth but the mark of Limlane is located at the anchor yard in Limsa, Low Limsa or Long Limsa. I really hate the name. In the upper decks, overlooking the harbor from above, at the foot of a monument. Someone we all know, pray to it. There's also an action for the botanists for more wind shards, wind crystals or wind clusters. Well, we can go on to Osham. Yes, to Osham, the wanderer, the wanderer. He's the, the ruler of the mountains and the god of the vagrants. He, he commands the element of wind and is associated with the third umbral month. His, his usual depiction is of a carefree ranger with a bow of yew. And the symbol is a walking stick, weirdly enough, which I guess would be useful in the mountains. Yeah, he, as I understood it back in my time, he used to really enjoy taking walkabouts, sometimes just not returning for a couple of hundred years. Well, well Oshon is the brother of Nald Tal and the close companion of Halone, and also the divine lover of Manfina. His patron city is the ancient city of Nim, and also the miners' guild. His, his mark is located at, near the floating city of Nim in Outer Landoskia. Prior, prior to, to the to the calamity, it can be found in the Iron Lake area near Upper Landoskia. There's also really other. Drunk, aren't you? <laughs> oh, There's also a lighthouse named after him, Ocean Stored, at the God's Grip area, Lower Landoskia. It's actually the opposite of um, Lim Lane's ring. And then, yeah, I think that was it. Well, yeah, we can go over more detail later. Of course, this is a brief summary. So, Bayer God, the builder, a purveyor of architecture and industry, a god of the arts, Commanding the elements of lightning and the opposite of Ralgar, he is tied to the fourth astral moon, which is the seventh moon, depicting as an ardent snitch holding a two headed hammer. Oh my god, I think I'm getting drunk too, but that doesn't matter. And his symbol is the hand. Byrgod is the son of Ralgar, which is really strange because his father is apparently a really abusive parent by continuously trying to destroy his Lego projects. It's really mean. Wait, what is Lego? Ah, no matter. Uh, what are you, are you playing those elegant games again? Yes, but no. Either way, he is the elder brother of Halone and he's the Ataliak's pupil. The Mark of Byrgod is located northwest of Camp Tranquil in the South Shroud. Prior to the Calamity, it could be found in a lake near Camp Crimson Bark in Pixie Falls, the Black Shroud. Well then, on to Rolgar. From Byrgot the son to the father Rolgar, Rolgar is the, uh, known as a destroyer, the breaker of worlds and the god of destruction. He uses the element of lightning to accomplish all these things. He is tied to the fourth Umbral Moon, or our eighth month. Is usually depicted as a as a mage with a with a bronze staff, and the symbol is that of a streaking meteor. And, as previously mentioned, he is the father of both Byrot and Halo, and an attendant to Nymia, to Nymia, as well as well as the guardian deity of the now of the now conquered Alamigo. Its mark is located in Little Alamigo in the southern Tenland area. Prior. Prior to the calamity, it could be fa found there as well. But the Valmigo also, also south of Camp Drybone at that time. 
there's also he also has a terrible poison named after him that was used in the assassination of an Alan Megan King, Volgar's bile. It's um, from experience really hard to treat. Yes, and yes, I know it's not been used in a really long time, but it doesn't matter. We'll explain that out a lot later. So Asayama, she is the warden and the keeper of the sun, a goddess of inquiry, commanding fire as her element, and is tied to the fifth astral moon, or the ninth month. Depicted as a noble lady. Oh my gosh. I'm really sick again, but it doesn't matter. Holding a golden fan. And her symbol, a radiant sun shining with her. She is the mother of Novika, the elder sister of Menfina and the daughter of Altig. Her mark is located near the burning wall in eastern Tanalan. Prior to the calamity, it could be found in the Sandgate area of eastern Tanalan. Which is strange, you would say, but that has its reasoning. On a cliff of Lugrin. The Grand Wake Desert. Sun Miko to traditionally worship Azayama. So then, Naltal it is. Indeed it is. Naltal are the two traders, and the, they are the overseers, the overseers of transactions and the under of, the, of transactions, the underworld, and the god of commerce. They they command the element of fire, and they're tied to the fifth album or a fence mod. They're, they're depicted as a as a merge and dis discerning a balance. And this um, a symbol is is the Kaui, an ancient shell currency. They're, the, they're brother to Ocean. And what's a bit weird about them is they're not actually they're the manifestation of the of two people, Nald and Thal. But for some reason they were mashed together. Now, they're the only symbol of the twelve to have two stone symbols, and they've both remained unchanged. The statue of Nald and Thal in Olda are located in um, the Arasaneth, Oshwari, in the steps of Nald, and at the Milvanes Sacrarium in the steps of Thal. Well, there is one location that is currently inaccessible because of uh, certain things it's the mark of the dusk trader and we just can't exit it but Tancred has it with him isn't that area unavailable due to calamity damage? yes but that's a sour memory in my heart so I wish not to talk too much about it now then, Novika, the matron, tender of souls and harvests, a goddess of abundance, commanding the element of earth and is tied to the sixth astral moon, the eleventh month. She is depicted as a jubilant farmer holding a steel scythe, and her symbol is the spring leaf. Daughter of Azayama, Novika is the younger sister of Limlane, and the bitter rival of Halone. Novika is also the patron of Britannia, the city of trees. The mark of Novika is located above the entrance to Stillblade Vein at Old Britannia. Prior to the calamity, it could be found on the Sky Serpent's Egg at Novika's altar, leading to the Stillblade Vein, of course. The mark of the matron is the stone that the two people were praying to. Which we will all be going over at a later time. Now then, our, our fine at last, we arrive at our last god, Althic, known as the Keeper. He's the surveyor of change and the god of space and time. Fittingly, he commands the element of Earth and, the, and is, of course, associated with the sixth Ambul moon, the twelfth month. He is usually depicted as an, as an emperor with a the mighty missile great axe. The symbol is that of the hourglass, and he is the father of Azema, Menfina, and the older brother to Nymea. His mark is located at the south route near the Amdor Keep. 
prior. I'll do Altik. Altik, the Keeper, the Surveyor of Change and the God of Space and Time. Commanding the element of Earth and is associated with the sixth umbral moon or the twelfth month. He is depicted as an austere emperor wielding a mitral great axe. It symbols the how aggressive for your time is up. No, I'm kidding, it's because he symbolizes time. He is the father of Asayama and Menfina and the elder brother to Namiya. The mark of Altik is located at the South Stroud, uh, South Stroud near Amdapur Keep. Prior to the calamity, it could be found in a stone formation near Limpex, uh, Link Spelled Patch, the Black Shrub. Oh, those are the 12. We'll be going about our relations at a later time. 